Ferrari team will, I'm sure, if the situation arises towards the end of the race and they, they can gain anything towards prospering the championship, I'm sure Nigel will be playing a support role and may well be giving up a win if, for example, Prost is in second place behind him and hopefully he'd do that by going up to the line and then waiting for Prost. And uh, that would be a nice, generous way for him to go out. But he said right from the start that he wanted to support Prost's World Championship Challenge when he, uh, when all the threat of leaving and the, and the various different directions that he might go in started, he did commit himself to supporting Alain Prost in his World Championship Challenge. There they go, the two McLarens. So it's the two dominant teams, the first two rows of the grid. As PK goes through in the Benetton. Now watch for the Benettons in this race. They're running less downforce than, uh, or so they think, according to John Barnard, their chief designer, less downforce than the McLarens and Ferraris ahead of them. That is to try and have straight line speed. They cover both cover themselves by going one car with C's, that's PK, the softer compound, one car, Nanini, with B compound tires, the harder. There's uh, a lot of... Uh, it's a bit of a toss-up this weekend, which is a better compound. No one really knows. It's, a, it's come down, I think, pretty much to a matter of personal choice. But certainly the C-shod cars will need a tower stop, and it's very likely that the harder compound B-shod B, B, uh, tires cars rather, will also need a tower stop. Now, coming round up to the start line, Poleman Nigel, a little practice start there, and then he'll slow it right up to get the field neatly in order behind him. Terribly important for Ayrton Senna, of course. If the two Ferraris get away ahead of him, it's going to be very difficult indeed, even for him. The Honda engine V10 has got enormous grunt. And don't forget Gerhard Berger, who won here last year. Indeed, all the top four men on the grid have won here. Prost has won three times, 84, 87, 88. Nigel Mansell won for Williams in 1986. Senna won in 1985 for Lotus and Berger won last year for Ferrari. They are the four front men on the grid. They are the best drivers in the World Championship this year. Everybody is peeling off. There is uh, Mauricio Gujamin, who is a bit better after his flu yesterday. And, of course, the drivers stay in line on the racing line as long as possible. That's why they're jumping out over to the left-hand side of the grid as we look at it. That is to keep their already hot and sticky tyres clean because the cars keep the track, the racing line clean and they don't pick up dirt and things that stick to their tyres. So, everybody in line, the cars at the back, there is the green flag which shows that the grid is clear. Any second now and it's away, a very, very quick start indeed and Nigel Mansell gets away, cross behind it but Senna leads, incredible and Berger is second. Both the McLaren Hondas get ahead of both the Ferraris at the first corner. Incredible, Senna and then the Berger followed by Mansell and Prost and this is totally unexpected and it means to say that the Ferraris have got the hard work to do and Nanini in the low downforce Benetton is up into fourth place there he goes followed by Alain Prost then Patrese Alessi is up from ninth on the grid and Senna is already building a gap lap one 70 lap race Yes, and that was really down to poor starts by both Ferrari drivers. Goodish starts, but nothing special by the two McLaren men. And what I don't think that... Um, that uh, and uh, that looks like the Cesaris off the road already, and that won't be any great loss to the race. So the Cesaris, it would appear, and here we see a replay. Very difficult to see through all the dust, but looks like the usual midfield bumping session. But the start certainly... Mansell made a poor start off pole and then carved up his teammate Alan Prost in trying to get across the track in self-defence or to defend his position and I don't think Prost will be thanking him for getting in his way because Prost had made a better but not good start and, and I think had to break as Mansell carved him up. So, so Senna leads at the end of lap one and that's a bonus he certainly didn't expect especially as Ferrari have spent two days at Monza practising starts. Lap two then, Ayrton Senna leading by seven tenths of a second at the end of the first lap from his teammate Berger. Mansell in third position, but it's a long race. Tactics will count in the end, and as we have frequently said, 